Do you truly know the difference between good debt versus bad debt? If you're thinking your mortgage or student loans are good debt, then check out this video because you need to know the truth. My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. For the best infinite banking and financial advice, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit the notifications bell so that you're notified when we upload new videos. If you feel like you've made wise financial decisions, good for you. By the end of this video, you're gonna see exactly how great those decisions are. All right, so let's get started with good debt. Now, there is a difference between good debt and bad debt, but do you really know the differences? So good debt, like a previous video that we've talked about, is asset versus liabilities. What's putting money in your pocket versus what's taken out of your pocket. Mm -hmm. So what we consider good debt is the debt that you use to make wise investment opportunities that are providing you cash flow. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say my mortgage is good debt or my student loans are good debt. But the fact of the matter is that's a little tricky and nine times out of 10, they actually are not good debt. And the reason being is because the mortgage is taking money out of your pocket mm -hmm. along with the taxes, the HOA, maintenance and all that jazz. And also with student loans. Student loans are one of those debts that cannot be wiped away <laughs> think about bankruptcy or anything like that those student loans are taken all the way to the grave and then can sometimes be transferred to the next generation so <laughs> student loans are terrible debt and the reason why we say this is because the dropout rate which with college students can be significantly high so only go to college if you commit to graduating and additionally, commit to college if you know exactly what it is that you want to do. I know when we were in school, we had friends that were flip-flopping majors every year because they didn't know what they wanted to do. And then they're stiffed with a $60,000, $70,000 bill at the end of all of this mm -hmm. with a job that's not even pay paying that much money. Yeah. And one thing I want to if add... If they have a job. Yeah. And one <laughs> thing I want to add when it comes to good debt is just because it raises your credit score doesn't mean that it's good debt. Good point. The only good debt that exists in this world, just like Carmen said, is if it's putting money into your pocket, then it was a good financial decision for you to get into debt for that because it's putting money into your pocket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all about leverage. Mm -hmm. So if you're using debt as a leverage opportunity to invest and to obtain cash flow, then absolutely good for you. That's what you should be doing. Right. But we want to make sure that some of the things that a lot of people tell us, oh, but I, this is an asset or oh, this is good debt. It's not because it's currently taking money out of your pocket and you've been taught to believe that it's good debt, mm -hmm. but it's actually not. Comment below with dominating debt if you understand exactly what we're talking about. The next thing we want to cover is the opposite of good debt, of course, is bad debt. Bad debt is any debt that is taking money out of your pocket. So those debts that you went shop on a shopping spree or you went for Christmas gifts, that's debt that's taking money out of your pocket. Now, your mortgage is also in our opinion, considered a bad debt if it's taking money out of your pocket. Mm -hmm. now, now, some would argue with that point, sorry to interrupt, mm -hmm. is that, oh, well, no, this is an asset because in the future, the value is going to be you know, so much more. It's going to appreciate. Yeah. Who's to say that that's going to happen? We're, we're basically rubbing a genie lamp and hoping that our house will appreciate. We're not taking into consideration the constant fluctuation of the market. Inflation. Taxes, liabilities, the appreciation of your actual neighborhood. What, mm -hmm. what is the environment going to be like 10, 20, 30 years from now? You may be in an amazing part of town and all of a sudden it turned to the hood in 10 years. Right. So, so that significantly affects the value of your house, mm -hmm. but we're always taught to think about the appreciation, which is something that we cannot predict. Right. So bad debt is if it's taking money out of your pocket right now, I'm not talking about in the future what the potential is, if it's taking money out of your pocket right now, because yeah. it's considered bad debt. Now it could change from good debt to bad debt, but we're talking about right now. Mm -hmm. Bad debt is taking money out of your pocket. Mm -hmm. I know we've been harping a lot on mortgages. It really doesn't matter the vehicle. Mm -hmm. It's just the debt in general and how it's being used. Exactly. Because when some people would say credit card is a bad debt, but the fact of the matter is if you're using a credit card, liquidating the funds and investing in an asset that produces cash flow. That pays those credit cards <laughs> and give you some money left over. Mm -hmm. That's good debt. Yes. So again, it doesn't necessarily matter what we're talking about. It's the act of what you're doing and how you can generate that cash flow. And another thing that I want to point out is what we have been taught as a society is to go to school, get the education, go to co go into debt, 
to go to college mm -hmm. and then from there we're working until we're 60 70 years old to be able to pay off the student loan debt not only were we taught to get a mortgage taught to get cars taught to get credit cards we were taught that this is the american dream and everything that we need to do put money into a 401k oh yeah we didn't even talk about that so stop and think for a second with me doing all the work and contributing all of my money elsewhere outside of my family outside of myself I'm not left with any money at the end of the day. Right. So what kind of system is that? Why would I want to be a part of that type of system that takes all of my money away from me, makes me work until I'm 67 years old and miserable because I'm not able to live the lifestyle that I want for myself. Now it's supposed to be a system that's rigged in your favor, but when it's all said and done, you have to be the one that actually puts in the work to tell your money exactly where it needs to go to control your cash flow because the only person that's going to worry about you is you. Now that you know the difference between good debt and bad debt, you can use infinite banking to turn all your bad debt into good debt. We've created a free guide with 52 different ways on how you can use infinite banking to convert your bad debt into good debt. So make sure you click on the link below to download that right now. And also, if you want to join a community of like-minded individuals who are all about infinite banking, then be sure to check out our Patreon community where we share up-to-date information on how to navigate through this somewhat tricky space. If you like this video that we share with you today, make sure you let us know by hitting the like button, subscribe, and share it with someone who you think would benefit from it. And remember, what do we do at Wealth Nation? We own our own lifestyle. Or someone else will.